Hi everyone, and welcome to another lecture brought by Leila Sal. In this video reviewer for Busle 2, we shall talk about the general concepts covering the dissolution of partnership. First off, let us define what is dissolution. Dissolution is that point in time where the partners cease to carry on the business together. Parang sa relasyon lang, ito yung breakup stage. As Article 1828 of the New Civil Code states, the dissolution of a partnership is the change in the relation of the partners caused by any partner ceasing to be associated in the carrying on as distinguished from the winding up of the business. If dissolution is the cessation of the partnership, winding up is the process of settling the business or partnership affairs after dissolution. Ito yung panahon na nagsisipag thank you kayo sa isa't isa sa happy moment ni together. At yung panahon na nagsisibalikan kayo ng mga pinagbibigay nyo sa isa't isa. Article 1829 states, On dissolution, the partnership is not terminated, but continues until the winding up of a partnership affairs is completed. It shall be noted that the dissolution of partnership do not automatically lead to extinguishment or termination. It continues until the partners have winded up its remaining matters. Example, assets should be liquidated and distributed according to the interest of the partners. Kumbaga, kung nakikipag-break siya sa'yo, hindi naman ibig sabihin nun, break na agad kayo, di ba? May say ka pa rin, syempre. At hindi matatapos ang inyong relasyon hanggat hindi kayo nagkakaayos at nagkakaintindihan sa breakup. Dissolution is also different from the mere suspension in the conduct of business or operations. Kumbaga, iba ang cool-off stage sa breakup stage. Ganun lang yung kadali. The causes of dissolution are laid down in Article 1830. 1. Without violation of the agreement between the parties. Bale, walang nagloko, walang third party, or kung ano paman, pak ganun. By the termination of the definite term or particular undertaking specified in the agreement. Kung kinontrata ka lang niya, magkunwaring girlfriend niya for a day, Girl, hanggang dun lang yun. Huwag na umasa pa na may extend pagiging quasi-girlfriend mo sa kanya. By the express will of any partner who must act in good faith when no definite term or particular undertaking is specified. Kung sadyang na-feel ni girl na hindi talaga kayo para sa isa't isa at ginusto niyang makipag-break, ayan, pwede yun. Hayaan mo na in good faith naman. Binigyan ka naman niya ng chance, sadyang hindi lang talaga kayo destined for each other. By the express will of all the partners who have not assigned their interests or suffered them to be charged for their separate debts, either before or after the termination of any specified term or particular undertaking. Kumbaga, na-feel niyo lang dalawa na walang pupuntahan yung relasyon niyo at Agree naman kayo sa isa't isa. By the expulsion of any partner from the business bona fide in accordance with such a power conferred by the agreement between the partners. Note that the expulsion pertained to must be done in good faith. 2. In contravention of the agreement between the partners, where the circumstances do not permit a dissolution under any other provisions of this article by the express will of any partner at any time. Third, by any event which makes it unlawful for the business of the partnership to be carried on or of the members to carry it on in partnership. Example, declaration of war between states. Four, when a specific thing which a partner had promised to contribute to the partnership, perishes before the delivery, in any case by the loss of the, lo of the thing, 
and the partner who contributed it have reserved the ownership thereof, has only transferred to the partnership the use or, enjoy or enjoyment of the same, but the partnership shall not be dissolved by the loss of the thing when it occurs after the partnership has acquired the ownership thereof. Fifth, by the death of any partner. The surviving partners have no authority to continue the business registered with a deceased partner's name. However, the partnership agreement may provide that the death, withdrawal, or admission of a partner will not affect a dissolution. Sixth, by the insolvency of any partner or of the partnership. Seven, by the civil interdiction of any partner. Eight, by decree of court under the circumstances provided in Article 1700A and 1701A.